everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. I have an extra special, exciting bag reveal that I was saving for and I wasn't quite planning to buy it at this time, but because this specific color became available with a discount code, I jumped on it. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the reveal. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Elise. I do lots of handbags and fashion um, videos, unboxings, comparisons, and I'd love if you would continue, so if you would consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video. So this is my third purchase from The Real Real. I will share with you how much I paid for it and um, that a few other details about the bag, but let's just get right into it. I'm so excited. It arrived yesterday, last night, late. I was like the last house on the UPS route. I was stocking the tracking and they have like a follow your truck on a map the whole day. And it arrived very much at the end of the business day. It was like 8 p.m., crazy. Um, so I was waiting all day. But without further ado, let's get into my new Dior bag. And I'm going to share with you a few more details, so stay with me once you see the bag. To reveal, da, 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 da. Ah, I am so excited. I have always wanted a Lady Dior bag and I have always wanted it in this like limited edition, perfect pink. It's like a rose Sakura color and I'm just over the moon excited. This is just like the perfect, feminine, girly, go for tea, go for brunch bag. When I tell you how old this bag is, you guys are gonna go like crazy because of the condition. So first of all, I just wanna say, I did purchase it from The Real Real, and I did spend, without showing my address, it was $2,700 plus taxes, so. It was very expensive for a vintage bag. However, I think it came to like 2,800 with taxes and delivery. They charge you for shipping. But this bag, I'm about to cut the tag off. This says, um, an expert behind every item from the reel. This was a final sale item. However, this was listed for over $3,000. Right now, the retail price in the United States for a medium Lady Dior bag is $5,200. Well, this was listed for about $3,000 on the Real Real, and I was watching it. Then they had a discount code, Real, for 20% off the already reduced price. So I came down to 2,700 plus taxes and shipping. It was about $2,800. However, look at this bag. I did before purchasing and after purchasing. I did send this to um, Authenticate First and Pro Authenticators because of the amount of money and it's a vintage bag. And vintage bags are different than current Lady Dior's. So I will go into that in a full review, but it did come back as 100% authentic. Totally worth the splurge because this is my dream Dior bag. So it has silver hardware, as you can see here. I just wanna share with you the corners because if you pause the video and guess right now what year this bag is from, look at the corners. The corners are pristine. Um, the only wear that I see here is like, do you see this little thing here, which I will solve that with a Twilly. I just purchased this Silk Twilly off of Etsy. It's a cute little kitty cat. As you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am a cat girl lady and I love pink. So this is going to go, this is a silk, um, I believe the seller is in Canada and she shipped it to the United States, but it's a silk Twilly. It's a little bit, you know, I, um, I think it's just perfect for this bag. So it will protect from that one mark. However, I don't see any marks on the other handle and I don't see any real wear on the inside. So let me share with you the year that this bag was made. You're gonna go like, I was beside myself with the condition that it's in. As you can see, there's a little, little indentation here. I'm gonna stuff it. The back is perfect, but there's just a little bowing here. It was listed in excellent condition. This was made in October 2004 in Italy. We're in 2021. This bag is 17 years old. And 
my husband was like, well, do you guys just buy bags and put them on a shelf? Because he was like, other than like a little bit here on the hardware, that mark, the corners just look amazing. And the bag overall itself looks amazing. So this bag, can you believe it guys? It's 17 years old. And I don't care about the age because I cared about the color and my budget. I wanted to stay 3000 or below. And when that discount code hit, I just grabbed it. I didn't even think twice. Um, I just grabbed it. And it came within about a week from um, The Real Real in California. It did come with this dust bag, which is not a swan dust bag, but this is from 2004. That's okay. I can always um, maybe send this to the Lady Dior Spa and maybe get some uh, metal cleaned and then I could get a Dior, um, uh, what do you call it, a dust bag. But on the inside, it has this beautiful pink pattern, which is different in the vintage pieces. And I'll go over details in a full review. However, I just wanted to share my excitement because I've been downsizing my collection and I've been just using and loving the bags that I have. And the ones that you see me adding, um, they are bags that I plan to keep. I don't buy bags to resell them. Um, so this is my Lady Dior. And I did get it authenticated from two other spots, even though the real real is totally legit. For my peace of mind, when I'm dropping almost 3,000, I just had to send it to two other places. So if you have any doubt with consignment, there are independent authenticators that you can fill out the information. I will link them in the description box and you can submit as many photos as you want for peace of mind. These older Lady Dior's, um, they have the non-adjustable strap, which is a shorter shoulder strap, but it's so comfortable. It's so comfortable on the shoulder. I am so excited. I'm gonna bring this to like when things are perfect and everybody's vaccinated and healthy. I'm gonna bring this to tea, to brunch, to when I go to weddings as a guest. I just am astounded at its beauty. And you guys know this color is perfectly me in a bag. I just, I had to wait for the right Lady Dior. I had had my eye on and I actually had purchased another one that I did not show on my channel. It was a fuchsia, like deep um, pinky purple magenta from Yugi's Closet. And I, when it arrived, the corners were in terrible condition. It was about $1,000 less, but I figured, let me send that back, which I did. I didn't even show it here on the channel. Um, I sent that back, I got my refund and I waited. I waited for the perfect pink. And I said, why should I settle? I should get the pink that I want and I should try to find it in the condition that I can. And so what do you guys think for 17 years old? Like I I can't believe that it's in such good shape. I feel like um, a little bit of the bowing here will go back once I fully stuff it. But I just, I'm so excited and I couldn't wait to share with you. I know. It's a big purchase, maybe for some it's not, but for me, like, you know, I'm trying to be careful and I usually tend to YSL and Gucci and a little bit of Chanel, but I um, I wanted a classic Dior bag. So here she is with all her glory. I am oh, just beside myself. She's perfect. She's perfect for me anyway. So I hope you guys are doing great. Um, please let me know in the comment section if you have a Lady Dior bag. I would love to know and what you guys think of the condition of this bag considering um, the age and the price that I paid. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please give me a thumbs up and I will come back with a wear and tear and a what's in my bag a few months down the road. I need some, a chance to actually use the bag. Um, so, oops, the handles, they just... It's so cute. I just, I love it. Thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.